This is the weekly Forex Outlook video here at XM.com. Thanks for joining us. I'm Cristina Marujos. With me today is our senior investment analyst, Jaira Lombos Pisuros, to help me look at the week ahead. Jaira Lombos, the dollar took a hit from yesterday's U.S. inflation data. Now, how could it move this upcoming week, which holds retail sales and the FOMC minutes? What are we likely to see in the data? And could the minutes offer traders any noteworthy revelation? Hello, Cristina. Yes, the dollar took a hit yesterday after the lower than expected CPIs as the data convinced investors that the Fed will not proceed with any other hikes this year and that uh, nearly 140 basis points worth of rate reductions may be warranted for next year. Now, given that uh, at the last meeting, Fed Chair Powell said that uh, they will make decisions meeting by meeting based on the data, Tuesday's uh, retail sales and Wednesday's indust industrial production for July may also attract uh, more attention than usual. Although these, release, uh, these releases are unlikely to significantly alter the market's, um, the market's implied uh, rate path on their own, uh, if they come in strong, they could add to hopes of a soft landing, while they could make it easier for investors to rethink the probability of a September hike if later on Wednesday the minutes of, uh, of the latest meeting reveal that uh, there was a decent number of policymakers uh, favoring more interest rate hikes before this tightening crusade ends. Now, combined, combined with uh, the US Treasury's uh, decision to issue more bonds, this may help yields and the dollar rebound. At the same time, equities may extend uh, their latest uh, correction. The opposite may be true. If the data comes in stronger, uh, uh, excuse me, softer than expected, and the meeting minutes suggest that uh, most Fed officials were skeptical about whether more hikes uh, are needed. Now let's cross into the United Kingdom. The Bank of England was not as hawkish as anticipated at its previous meeting, citing, among others, the moderation in inflation. Now, the July CPI data is out on Wednesday. How could that affect the pound and, of course, the Bank of England's next move in September? Yes, following the decision, investors slashed their Bank of England uh, hike uh, bets. They are now seeing a 70% probability of a quarter point hike at the September meeting, with the remaining 30% pointing to no action. As for the future, they are anticipating only one more uh, quarter point hike before uh, this bank uh, stops uh, its tightening cycle as well. Now, this big change in market expectations makes Wednesday CPI data even more important. Uh, there are no forecasts uh, available uh, currently, but uh, the S&P Global PMIs suggest that further cooling of inflationary pressures, which tilts uh, the risks uh, of uh, Wednesday's data to, to the downside. So further declines in the UK CPI rates, especially the core one, could uh, add uh, more credits to investors' uh, choice to lower their implied Bank of England rate path and may further weigh on the pound. Now, just to add to, add to that, besides uh, the CPIs this, uh, next week uh, from the UK, we also get the employment report for June on Tuesday and uh, the retail sales for July on, uh, on Friday. It's going to be a data-packed week for the UK as well. Before I let you go, Haralambos, is there anything else on this upcoming week's calendar investors should pay extra attention to? Yes, yes. We do have an RBNZ uh, meeting on Wednesday, but no action is expected. Back in May, the RBNZ signaled that it is done raising rates and it held steady in July. Now, following the notable slowdown in uh, quarter two inflation, there is no reason for, for policymakers to proceed with any bold changes at uh, this meeting either. Therefore, the QE is likely to stay more linked to the broader market sentiment and especially developments surrounding uh, the Chinese economy. Now, speaking about China, uh, from there we have uh, fixed asset investment, industrial production and retail sales for July uh, they are coming, those data, those data sets are coming on Tuesday, 
and disappointing numbers could add to concerns surrounding the performance of uh, the world's uh, second largest economy. The Aussie could also be affected by the Chinese data, but Aussie traders will have to digest the RBA minutes on Tuesday and Australia's employment report on Thursday as well. Finally, we have Canada's CPI numbers on Tuesday, while Japan releases its preliminary GDP numbers the same day and its own CPIs on Friday. Hi, Dalabos. Thanks so much. This was the weekly Forex Outlook here at XN.com.